Welcome to our review on copper. First thing we need to understand then is where we get copper from. Now, copper is actually found in a rock called an ore, and that one is called malachite. So what we have to do to actually extract the copper from the ore is we've got to crush it and then heat it with carbon. And the reason that this is going to extract the copper is because carbon is more reactive than copper. Now, the reason we're actually bothered about getting copper at all is because it's got a few properties that make it incredibly useful to us. First of all, it's a good conductor of both heat and electricity. It's ductile and it's unreactive. So this makes it very useful for everything from electrical cables to the water pipes in our homes. So what we've got here then are a couple of word equations to show you what's actually happening. So first of all, if we've got our copper carbonate, which we heat up, then what we're going to find is we'll generate copper oxide and carbon dioxide through a thermal decomposition reaction. If we take the copper oxide and heat it with carbon, then we're going to make copper and carbon dioxide. So we've extracted that copper in a two-stage process. Now, when we actually heat the copper oxide with carbon, the copper oxide is reduced because we're removing oxygen from it. I've also given you the symbol equations there and make sure that you understand how to balance them properly. Now, the copper we get from the ore isn't pure. We've got other things in there known as impurities. So before we can actually use it for things like our electrical wires and so forth, we need to purify the copper. And to do this, we need to remove those impurities. Now, to carry out that process of removing the impurities from copper, we use a process called electrolysis. So I've given you the diagram down there that shows us how it works. We've got those two electrodes, one positive, the other negative. Negative one being the cathode, positive one being the anode. That's connected into electrical circuit. We've got our electrolyte, which is basically a solution of our copper sulfates. And then what we're going to do is pass electricity through that. And as a result, we get pure copper forming on the cathode and the impure copper anode is then broken down with the impurities collecting underneath it. If we think about this electrolysis in more detail then, copper sulfate solution is what's known as an electrolyte. Now, all that means is that it's a liquid that conducts electricity. We've got the negatively charged electrode called the cathode, and that is pure copper. So I always tell my students to remember it with our very negative cap, as you can see in the picture there. Then during electrolysis, what we find is copper is deposited and the cathode gains mass. So what we're seeing is a reduction reaction. So we start off with our copper two plus ions and we're going to add two electrons to it, which means it's a reduction to make copper atoms. The positively charged electrode, the anode, is impure copper. So this is the one we're actually going to be starting with. During electrolysis, the copper dissolves and therefore the anode loses mass. And what we actually see is an oxidation reaction occurring there because we start with copper atoms. They're going to lose two electrons to make the copper two plus ions. And those copper two plus ions then go from the anode over to the cathode because obviously two plus ions, they're positive, attracted to the negative electrode. And that's where they're deposited as they pick up two electrons to make copper atoms. What we find is that the best copper ores have already been used up because we've been using copper for many years now. So we've already used up the best copper ores. The remaining ores that we've got have got less copper and they're more difficult to mine. So this obviously creates a problem of how we can get the copper we need. And the reality is that it's going to be much cheaper for us to recycle copper than to extract it from these ores that still remain.